Okay, so today I want to show you how my ground floor house plan is. So that is basically constructed for uh, renting purpose. So it's uh, the outside is not completely painted, but I'll just uh, take you through my ground floor house, uh, which is 2 BHK. So let me just uh, take you to the door. So these are all the GM switches that we have installed. And uh, this is a simple yet uh, beautiful door. Okay, you could see the door. So that's how simple the design is. And uh, this door uh, costed roughly around 6K for me. So around 6,000. So this is completely a uh, ready-made door what uh, we have used. And uh, now coming to this, so you can see the handle. So it's uh, again uh, not so very expensive handle but uh, it still gives a great feeling and it has a, a good uh, way to hand, uh, hold it as well. So we have put actually uh, Europa uh, keys. So you can just see the key as well. So this is how the Europa keys look. Now let me just show you just behind the door. So we have used uh, Indo-Asian uh, uh, MCBs, okay. And uh, this is something that I have done uh, different compared to any other house or homes that are there. So this is an emergency light, okay. So that comes completely from solar, okay. So this light, say for example, if there is no power, I have installed solar pa solar panels on the top, so the power will be coming in that particular thing uh, if there is no power. So this is the UPS point if they want to set up a UPS point and uh, just to make sure the uh, door does not bang. So we have just uh, fixed a magnetic stopper. Okay. So that's a magnetic stopper that is there. Now I'll just quickly take you inside. So this is how the switches looks and uh, there is a calling bell as well on the top so this is the window and the one thing with window is like uh, you might have seen uh, some people using the tower bolts the only problem with that is uh, over a period of time the windows uh, shutters start uh, bending uh, due to change in weather so it's always better that you use these hooks okay so even though there might be small uh, challenge with the window you can still close it in a good way so that's where we installed this and this was by learned by doing a mistake as well so initially we had the tower bolt then we changed that okay and uh, if you just see here so this is the completely uh, tv unit okay so you could see the drawers that are there let me just show you how it looks so this is completely a single drawer so this can be opened okay so there are two section, uh, sections in this now one other thing is uh, so if they want to keep some show items or something they can certainly keep it here and there and if they want to keep any photo frames or something they can keep it there we also have the lights okay so that it looks uh, good also so that's where we have installed this uh, pretty lights these are one watt uh, warm lights sorry there might be a bit of echo and this is for uh, powering the tv and this is very important actually uh, not too many homes would be having this so this is where like uh, all the wires from the tv would be going into this and there is a pipe that is installed at the back okay so they would come all the way to this point you could see here right they would come here so that none of the wires will be seen outside okay and the tv unit wire also will be at the bottom so that's how this has been planned now i'll just quickly show you the complete hall so this is how it looks and uh, these are two by two uh, vitrified tiles not so very expensive these are roughly around uh, 45 rupees per square foot I believe so roughly around that uh, price 45 to 50 rupees okay now let me take you to a bedroom so again this is also a ready-made door 
so this is the laminate door so you can see the design of it and <clears throat> so this is master bedroom master bedroom it has good ventilation even if they, you don't use the lights say for example just turn off the lights okay you good uh, you get a good uh, ventilation so this is one uh, small bathroom that we have done it just the commode that has been installed okay so this is roughly around uh, uh, three and a half by three and a half uh, square foot uh, uh, toilet what has been done and on top we have a exhaust fan as well the switches are right outside so this is uh, the wardrobe that uh, we have done let me just uh, open and show you so this is how it looks now you could see this has multiple partitions so that they can uh, keep good amount of uh, things and here actually they can hang the clothes i'll just close this so same as this as well and we have given a locking system uh, in one section so that they can keep uh, their expensive things in this and they can lock it and even this is europa so this is also europa okay now if i just turn around so this is how you could uh, see the home or oh, sorry the bedroom so in each of the bedrooms we have installed a tube light which is around uh, 20 watt and uh, there is a dual switch which can be controlled from just next to the door and also uh, near the bed so this is the dual switch okay now let me take you to uh, another bedroom so it's uh, see this is another bedroom it's just uh, right next to the master bedroom that we had and everything has been constructed as per vastu so you could see that uh, we are using this uh, uh, handle lock system so if you just press it will just go down uh, so these things cost roughly around uh, anywhere between uh, 300 to 600 range but also they carry a disadvantage the chance of they uh, getting uh, uh, spoiled is very fast actually so this is one more uh, wardrobe that is there in this uh, home or in this bedroom so almost same thing so this is how uh, the other bedroom looks so this is roughly around uh, 120 square foot bedroom and uh, right next to the bedroom there is a common toilet so i'll just show you the common toilet uh, i hope you can see everything so there is slight cleaning that is still required in this so we have used each and everything from periware so so this is a periware uh, sink and uh, periware taps which actually looks very beautiful okay and this is again uh, periware uh, come out that we have uh, so at the corner we have put the steel uh, rack i would say to keep their uh, things like shampoo or something like that and on top we have a hanger as well for towel and uh, right near the tap we have also put across a uh, paste uh, uh, holder and things like that so if you could see at the top we have a light for uh, the mirror so this is the beautiful shower unit that is there and here we have also installed a v-guard uh, heater the one thing that most of them do is like they try to install a very low quality uh, geysers and they get spoiled within a year or so 
okay so it's good to you install a good one and it actually stays for a longer time as well so the complete cost probably if i could say about uh, the interiors of this bathroom i think it comes close to around 18000 so 18000 so that's uh, the approximate cost that it took for me to get all this uh, fittings inside this bathroom including that uh, uh, vigard uh, uh, heater okay so and one more thing that i wish to say so the door whatever you see here it's a pvc door okay sorry it's a wpc door now the beauty with this door is it nothing happens to this door even uh, if it's there in water for a longer time so for bathroom it's always advised that you go for wpc doors and uh, it would give you much longer life and uh, it would not spoil as well and there is a light on the top as well so that uh, it gets a uh, good lighting now moving on to the kitchen so this is the kitchen that has been constructed this is probably by uh, 6 by 8 so that's the dimension of this let me show you so this is something that most of them forget to do these are the air vents so that uh, the bat smell from this section actually comes out if not this complete section would be stinking like anything so make sure you install this air vents this will pre prevent from uh, getting the bad uh, smell so this is the steel uh, uh, sink what we have put and this might cost anywhere between uh, 2000 to 3 4000 depending upon the brand whatever you go for or it might even be expensive if you go for much higher brand so this is a granite slab okay this is 30 mm uh, granite slab which is very strong and this is sitting right on top of this plywood okay so that's where it gets a good strength as well so this is one complete open section so that they can keep uh, big containers so this is how the drawers look so for them to keep the utensils so this is where they can actually keep the plates and this is another section where uh, we have given a partition in between so that they can keep a uh, lot more things like small dabbas and things like that and the other beauty is we are given the gas connection from the outside so that they don't need to bring the cylinder inside okay so all the home cylinders are actually kept outside it's not inside the home my videos then please do subscribe to this channel so here is uh, the kitchen tab which is actually flexible so the head of it can be rotated and again uh, these are completely periwear fittings that is there so this tab is for water purifier the outlet water goes here okay and i didn't want to waste the water that is coming from uh, the after purification so this is the outlet that i have made uh, where like uh, the output of the filtered water okay the waste water it actually goes inside this and this is actually connected to the sum so it actually goes again to the sum in that way you don't waste um, good amount of water which comes from the purifier so this is something that you could actually consider so this is the loft that is there and again these are uh, the handles that have been used these are not very expensive at the same time it actually gives good look as well so this is how it is now i'll just quickly show you the utility so this is the door again it's a ready-made door so this section is not clean so please do excuse with that so this is roughly around uh, three and a half by eight foot uh, utility that is there so there is a point for uh, washing machine so the water tap and for security purpose, I have also installed a grill here, which can be locked. Okay, so this is the completely safety grill that is there. So this is how it would look. So I'll let me show you the ceiling fan. So this is a, a ceiling fan, roughly around 2000 rupees or something. And I didn't, I forgot to mention you one thing. So we have actually used a glass which has the etching design on it. Now the reason why I have done this is uh, so that even if someone tries to see from outside, they can't actually see completely. So it's like always like a blur thing. Okay. But one thing is in the night, uh, 
people can actually see what is inside so it's good that you always have the curtain so that's where we are also even given the curtain rods so you could see the design of it so that's the complete home tour i hope uh, you enjoyed this if it, if you enjoyed please do like uh, this video comment what do you feel about it and please do share with your friends as well so lot more videos coming because i am going to take you through first floor tour uh, second floor our home tour and also i am going to take you through the top floor studio room tour and the garden that we are uh, doing so lot more videos coming including how i have set up the solar system and everything okay or how i have installed solar panel for getting the emergency light so do subscribe and uh, thanks for watching